There are many types of paints at an artist's disposal, each producing a very different effect. Oil paint is opaque and rich. Encaustic paint, being wax-based, has a unique texture that the artist can shape, then reheat and reshape in countless creative ways. Oil paint comes in liquid form and stick form. With either, the artist can combine it with other products to modify the consistency. Being oil-based, the paint takes a couple of days to dry, so there's lots of time to work with it. However, once the coat is dry, it can't be reworked. Encaustic paint, by contrast, is wax-based, so the artist must melt it while applying it. Because wax cools and hardens so quickly, encaustic paint has a short working time. However, the artist can reheat it and work it some more. The main ingredient in encaustic paint is white beeswax. To that, they add carnauba wax, which comes from the leaves of the carnauba palm tree. Carnauba wax is quite fragile, which is why they strengthen it with beeswax. They melt them in a microwave oven on convection mode. Next, they add dammer resin, which comes from trees native to Southeast Asia. They grind the chunks of resin into powder in a coffee grinder, then mix it into the molten waxes. The resin will act as a solidifying agent, as well as make the paint glossy. Once the ingredients are evenly blended, they pour the mix through cheesecloth to filter out minute plant particles which the resin contained. They weigh out a quantity of synthetic pigment and add it to the wax resin mixture. The ratio of pigment to mixture varies by color. Some have more wax and less pigment and others vice versa. This manufacturer won't reveal any specifics about ingredient proportions. Its paint recipes are top secret. After mixing for about 15 minutes, the paint is ready. They carefully pour it into a mold. This type of mold produces sticks. The paint hardens in just a few minutes. They scrape off the excess and melt it back to liquid to cast the next batch of sticks. Then they unscrew the mold and pry it apart. Once the mold is safely opened, they gently extract the finished encaustic sticks. They wear gloves because the sticks are still a bit hot and can stain their hands. For those same reasons, they wrap the sticks, once labeled, in plastic. This manufacturer also produces handmade encaustic paint in another format, rectangular blocks. The process is identical. The mold is made of flexible rubber. The paint hardens sooner than in a metal mold because rubber dissipates heat far faster than metal does. Workers don't need to wear gloves when extracting the blocks because the paint is already cool and therefore won't stain their hands. To make oil paint sticks, they first make a large batch of oil paint out of walnut oil, pigment, a drying agent, and a bit of wax. Then they weigh out a specific quantity and add more walnut oil. Next, they add combined carnauba wax and beeswax, which are necessary to form the stick shape, however, less wax than for encaustic sticks. They blend all these ingredients for about 15 minutes, then pour the paint into a metal mold to cast sticks. Every batch of oil sticks undergoes drying tests to ensure the paint dries within two days after being applied to paper. Encaustic is the more durable of these two types of paints because it contains a larger percentage of beeswax, which is resistant to moisture. An encaustic painting, therefore, doesn't have to be varnished or put behind glass. <laughs>